I feel pretty fucking stupid even wearing this goddamn sweater and this hat. I feel pretty fucking stupid. Usually, I like to walk my dogs, rep the Cleveland Browns, hat, sweater. But goddamn, I feel like a retard right now walking outside like this. I don't think I might. God damn it. You know, this was the perfect way I think our season could have ended. In fact, I am actually happy that we got destroyed by the Ravens. I am happy that our play calling at the end of the first half with like two minutes left to go, all you had to do was protect the damn ball, Freddy. That's all you had to do. Don't give back the ball to Lamar. You see what that man can do? What does he do? Pass plays. <sighs> Wasn't able to run the ball for shit. Our O-line, for some reason, just didn't feel like showing up today. Nick Chubb was running in mud. Cleveland mud. What did he try to do? Run a trick play with Kareem Hunt trying to fake a throw at third and one? Come on. You know what? But that is perfect. That is just perfect. That is exactly the game we needed to see by Freddie Kitchens and the Cleveland Browns. In order for there to be a change, disaster must strike. And my God, that was disaster. It doesn't matter if it was the best team in football. You go up 6-0 to zero at the end of the first half, you're feeling pretty good. You give up two touchdowns in like... What was it? Four plays? Giving up two touchdowns in what seemed like four plays? I mean, that's just not even heard of. I wasn't even sure that that was even possible. My God. But you know what? I hope it shows John Dorsey, who I don't think enough people give um, enough blame to. Yeah, he's all talent, and boy, does that guy have an eye for talent, but... What are you thinking? Freddie Kitchens didn't even do six months of coordinating. And all of a sudden, he's going to lead the team with the most amount of talent in the NFL and what? Six and ten. Here we go. Hopefully. I hope we lose to the Bengals. Like I said, disaster must strike. Fuck. You know, I was thinking, you know what? This is... The Baltimore Ravens is a lose-lose scenario for us. If we beat Baltimore, well, at least we could hand our, hang our hats on saying, well, we're the only team in the NFL that can beat Baltimore. But at the same time, we probably keep Freddie Kitchens. So we lose. If we lose to Baltimore, well, we're really out of the playoffs again. We keep Freddie Kitchens for at least another year, if not more. The one bright spot in all of this, Mateo, was, yeah, my dogs are even barking at me. <laughs> all right, all right. Jesus. I get it. I get it. <sighs> the one bright spot was seeing Odell catch up. Fuck. Fuck. Hey. Seeing Odell catch that touchdown pass. My dog doesn't even want me to wear Cleveland Browns gear anymore. He's like, you look fucking stupid. I know. I know. Maybe I am stupid for being a Browns fan. You know, it's funny. When the schedule first came out in the beginning of the year, I actually thought, you know what? Man, this schedule looks pretty good. I mean, maybe we go like 11 and 5 or... Hell, maybe if we're all clicking, get Kareem Hunt back. Baker's balling. Odell is balling. Shit, we could be 12-4 and four maybe. Maybe just lose to the Patriots, Seahawks, Rams, and Baltimore once. Wow. I never felt so stupid before. I mean, it is just... At the end of that half, it was a sight to behold. I've never experienced anything like that. Two touchdowns and was what was like four plays. 
I mean, it was laughable. It was laughable. You know what? Thank God for the zone, because at least that way I could just stop watching the Browns when Lamar had the ball. I'd rather just look up and see, oh, another touchdown scored. All right, Browns possession. Might as well turn it back on. <sighs> I hope this. You know what? If this, Steel I hope the Steelers actually make the playoffs because it's an indictment on Freddie Kitchens. The fact that Mike Tomlin with Devlin Duck Hodges and Mason Rudolph, if he can take a team quarterbacked by Duck Hodges into the playoffs, and yet you have Baker, Shake and Bake, OBJ, Juice, Nick Chubb, the best running back in the NFL, Kareem Hunt, maybe the second best running back in the NFL, Miles Garrett, maybe the best edge rusher in the NFL. You have the Warden. You have Greedy. You have All-Pro Joe. And you're 6-9? and nine? Only beating teams that... Like Miami, the Jets. The Jets on their fourth string quarterback. Ugh, makes me sick.